Hey guys, a few days ago, we already released a basic tutorial of our new plugin, ARN Copywriter, which is great for lots and lots of cases. Today, I'm going to show you three cases that I think are going to be really useful for a lot of people, for small business owners, for marketing people, for content creators, for students. It's a very versatile tool. And what I'm usually offering to do with plugins like that is, of course, to ask what are the use cases of the plugin. Sometimes we are starting to use the plugin and we think that it is capable just of one or two things and we're using that for those particular approaches. However, sometimes those are getting updated. We are not aware of full capabilities of those. So please just a reminder, make sure you know the full potential of the tools you're using because sometimes people just wasting their resources that they have on their fingertips. So here you can see the full list. Please check it out by yourself later. And I'm going to go to the first case that I want to show you. So of course, as usual, we're making sure we're using ChatGPT4. We're making sure Aaron Copywriter is activated on the top. If you don't have it, just go to Plugin Store. And also there is another video on our channel that explains the basic features of the plugin so don't hesitate to check it out before you're diving into this video with more advanced cases so the first one i have an article that uh, on medium that is not super complex it's not super long but still it's a very interesting article and for example let's imagine i'm a small business owner and i need that information extracted for my personal blog or a small business blog so we can just prompt it i need a blog post for my small business uh, website, let's say, based on this. Sometimes it also helps a lot, for example, to give a bit more precise prompts in terms of writing and style that you're looking for. So for example, make it a bit shorter because it's my small business website. I don't really want it to be a huge article and uh, with friendly ton of voice. Because for example, that is the tonality that my business is communicating with, with our customers and clients and potential users online. So it takes a few seconds to analyze what is going on in the link, what we've prompted in terms of the writing style that we want. And here we go, we in a few seconds already have our ready material. We have then uh, title. We have it really friendly here. We can adjust it later if we are up to that. As always, great structure, pretty clear, even with some bold highlights. It was really, it did make it really friendly. You can adjust it or take it away later if you want. But what I imagine it actually works for me. So I am pretty happy with the result and I'm going to move forward to the next case that I wanted to show you. As always, I start my new chat, making sure everything activated here. And I'm going to the second article that I've chosen here. Oops, about the hurricane. And this one in particular, I wanted we're doing basically the same, copying the link, pasting it here. And here I wanted to make it more useful for social media managers and content creators, for example. And let's prompt, I need a short EG post copy to give an idea of the article and lead people to the website to read it to read the full version. Again, it might seem as an easy job to copy and put together and caption like that. But if you think just about one, when you're a social media manager, a creative, you have probably few accounts, you have a lot of going on and actually specific highlight of the article, just the main idea. So it usually, with the flow that you have, it does make your life more efficient. And another point that I wanted to do here, uh, it did not give us the actual result that we were expecting from the first prompt. Please, please don't give up. 
because sometimes it just needs one extra step to clarify what you're actually expecting. And here we go. We just had one more prompt, just the main idea, clarifying what we wanted. It's a pretty good deal. But for example, I think it's a little bit too long for Instagram caption, which can prompt make it a bit shorter. And just in a few seconds, we are already ready to post it. I think it's pretty good for their Instagram post. We can later have the link, for example, to the article, and that is ready to go. And the last one is usually starting new chat. We are going to Wired. As you know, it's a pretty uh, heavy in terms of information publication. So we copy paste the link as always. Uh, what I wanted to do here, let's imagine we are a university student, for example, we have this article and we need to compose a presentation based on the information from these articles. That might also not just happen just to students, for example, you're a young professional who needs to share some information about the industry in your startup in, or in your team, that is also a pretty handy tool. So for example, let's say I need a presentation structure for 12 slides, let's say, based on the article, on the article. Because sometimes, of course, we can do that ourselves, but again, it's a complicated, time-consuming job when you need to go through the article to highlight the main points, then to structure them and see on how many slides it's going to work. Here, we make it much more productive. We just copy-paste the link. Oops, I need to know specific instructions. For instance, do you want summary of each section, key points highlighted, or any other specific details? Let's say I want to cover all the, oops, just a little typo, cover all the main details of the article. Article. Let's say that I think it will be enough for the plugin to go on from here. And yeah, as I was saying before, please don't give up after the first prompt because sometimes it needs a little bit more guidance. And here we go, we have the perfect structure slide by slide with the main points. Sometimes it would give you also more descriptors or for example, examples of images that it would be nice to put in there. This time, I think it still works pretty well. We have the perfect structure and the main points and we are ready to compose our perfect presentation and don't waste our time just going through and trying to put everything together over and over again. I really hope this plugin helps you with copyright on an everyday basis because right now we are spending too much time composing all and putting together all, all the content pieces. In case you have any any problems with this particular plugin, please feel free to reach to our support team. I will leave the email in the description below. And I hope you're having a great day and much more productive routine with our plugins.